I now control the world! <laughs> I just wanted to let you know, this isn't just a simple, cut and pasted seven videos. This is all re-edited, following the major powers. So when we go through the US, we'll get all the references done in one. Swap over to Europe, etc. So you're gonna wanna watch to the end to see the full world map. Also, this isn't the end of the series. I have plans to do a fixing history, historic borders, where I literally rewrite history. That's gonna be fun. But, um, yeah. Hope you enjoy this cut down compilation. Fixing the US state borders. Split off. So Cal. Uh, right after the map was done, sunk uh, most of Northern California's coastline into the ocean. No big deal. We have created Deseret. But should we till we get to the east? It gets even more cursed. Why, when there's a New Mexico, are still millions of people living in the old one? All of Mexico will become property of New Mexico. New Mexican Mexico. Let's move over here next to it to Louisiana. Oh my god! Much better! With their newfound Pennsylvanian gains, alongside some insane rallying in their own population, 50,000 million trillion people, they have their entire population rallying Ohio State jerseys and absolutely smack Detroit. They then move up the peninsula and eventually it's too much for Michigan to handle and this causes the capitulation of the state of Michigan to the Ohioan Empire. Rhode Island, why is it called, like I get road, like there are definitely a lot of roads, but why an island? Like anybody who's anybody can tell that that's not an island. Through a 500 billion dollar funding project and a little bit of elbow grease, Rhode Island has literally become Rhode Island. I got a comment on the fixing the US states borders from my uncle Jerry saying how he was mad that I made his house a part of Utah instead of Idaho. Well, I'm gonna make up for that right now because Jared's house and just his house will become an independent city-state, break away from the United States, and become a new island in the Bahamas. We might want to just do a little bit of, um, expansion in, uh, Guantanamo Bay. Boom! Now, the Middle East also has a lot of oil in it, as you all probably know. <clears throat> So, America will directly annex every major oil and gas field in the Middle East. Sounds like perfect balanced world to me. Now, we'll no longer have to keep bringing freedom to the Middle East, because we have it ourselves. That sounds like perfect balance to me. USA! USA! So I kind of felt bad in the U.S. States video given the Alaskan Panhandle to Canada, even though it just makes sense to have Canada own this. I still felt kind of bad, and as a proud American myself, I'm going to make up for it by giving quite a bit of this Eastern Alaska to the United States. Welcome, New Alaska, to the Union. First, we care much about the Heard and McDonald Islands, which are right here. And as a proud American myself, I think you know what I'm going to do. We are going to give the McDonald Islands to the United States 
and in return, we will build the first entire island size McDonald's on them. And it will become the new McDonald's HQ. I'm pretty sure Lunar America does include where the American flag is placed. And if it doesn't, we, we can just always go and get it again at some point. We can expand the colony. So next we have the uh, the Western colonial powers here. We have we have France, Britain, uh, Italy, Germany. They made a lot of straight lines. Like look look over here, especially in Africa. Like look at that. Like, France and Britain, they were the ones that used the lines the most. So I think they're going to have to get a little bit of payback. There we go. A bit of colonial comeback, as I call it. Bro, France, it is 2024. We are not into colonialism anymore, my guy. Like, having a colony in this region would make France, like, super OP. But I don't think France should have to give up its colony. The solution is to give all the European powers back their colonies that they lost in the Guianas. That way France doesn't have to give theirs up, but the balance of power could still be respected. Since I don't know what to do with the rest, I'm going to bring back the good old British Aiden Protect Movement. Which was like, there gave England this area, so I think it only feels right to restore colonial French control over Djibouti. Germans? What the heck? Where are Germans living? Well, um, Germany hasn't had colonies since World War One, but, um, if there are Germans living there, The surface of the freaking moon. Britain can't get its freaking Antarctica, whatever it wants. So, in compensation, how about some nice moon? You can get stuff on the moon if you really so desire. You know the, the joke of the British colonizing the moon? Well, um... See also Lunar France. I mean, let's let's think about it. So Russia took over these territories from Ukraine. What are Russia and Ukraine's goals for the war? Ukraine's goal is to take back the occupied territory that Russia controls. While Russia's goal is to take over the rest of Ukraine. So, in order to compromise. Perfect! Now Ukraine has their occupied territories back while Russia controls the rest of Ukraine. I mean, you have to admit, this will... Belarus. What do I want them to do? I think Belarus... I think they'll probably enter into some kind of personal union with Russia. Let's just give them a little bit from Russia. Just, you know, just a little bit, you know? Well, first of all, we definitely don't need these borders anymore. We could give a bit to Russia, I guess. Just have Georgia unite with uh, Azerbaijan and Armenia. There we go. Georgia now has a decent bit of... Uh, of a union here already but I think they should go a bit further and support rebels in Chechnya which is part of Russia as a large portion of the uh, North Caucasus as well so Georgia from its port in Pati goes all the way out through the Black Sea all the way through Istanbul and around Greece, all the way out 
straight on down the ocean. We're almost through the Atlantic and smacks right into the coast of Georgia. <clears throat> this sadly results in Georgia becoming colonized by Georgia. Give Georgia to Georgia without also giving South Georgia to Georgia. If you think that, you're insane. Greece is a huge country. <laughs> Just kidding. Greece looks teensy tiny. Look at Greece. It's tiny. It's tiny Greece. Last time there was a major world war, they got invaded through Albania. Not to mention Bulgaria was also a part of that whole Axis thing. Greece also has quite a few disputes. They used to have a big dispute with North Macedonia. Greece should just go and take North Macedonia. Then they don't have to worry about what their Macedonias are called, okay? I mean, I'm just saying, Greece might just march on Istanbul again. I'm just saying. Now, Greece doesn't recognize Kosovo, and I think that they probably also wouldn't like it to fall into Serbian hands. So I think Greece can solve that problem by annexing both of them. What if I just continue this little peninsula thing that the turkey has down here? Continue it all the way down. Um, and then we just link it up with this area. And then it will travel down into this unspecified country. And this unspecified country. There, that looks nice. Now they have, what they call this, the Levant region. Perfect, we have three new Libyan nations. But, um, I don't think they're gonna last. The way in Israel here, they're gonna want a slice of Africa. So, I'm thinking we just take a gander at our new Byzantine Empire. Else. Like, why, if most of their population lives along the Nile River, do they need all this useless desert out here? You know, I'll even give them their little northern delta looking thing. Because I'm just so nice to the Egyptian state. There we go. This is the real Egypt. <sighs> this does mean that the Byzantine Empire is now cut in half and their lands are not contiguous. But. That's fine. So, since, you know, we have, we have San Marino, and we have, we have the Vatican City, um, I think there should be a third Italian microstate, Venice. Yeah, just have, have a little bit of, a little bit of, boom. We now have a new independent Venetian Republic. So Venice now goes on a rampage, annexing uh, a lot of Croatia's coast by the way. They also take over this area from the, the new Byzantine Empire. Also this area of southern Italy can go to them as well. And there's nobody with better land reclamation than the Dutch. So I think the Dutch are going to go on some major land reclamation, of course. But how much we give them? Oh my god! Is that, uh, reasonable? I'd say that's pretty reasonable. If, 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 if you look at that for the Netherlands. But now Syria is landlocked and it looks kind of weird. If I'm being honest, Syria always sort of looked like a Cybertron to me. Syria will become overrun by robots and will be our first robot-led society. And they'd probably do a better job than the official government. That was a joke. <laughs>
By the way, that was Joe. Let's get down to Jordan. All right, I have turned Jordan into a basketball court because its new ruler is going to be Michael Jordan. Yes, I did that. Michael Jordan will turn the entirety of Jordan into a basketball court and just play on it for ad. Uh, Years on end practice. So there was a plan that was brought around by Saudi Arabia to turn Qatar into an actual island, just like Bahrain right here. And I think that would be funny, so let's go with it. Just like Rhode Island before it in the US States video, Qatar will now become an island. You know, Qatar already looks a bit like an island, so it won't be that big of a change to me. Now, one of the questions of all time, should we reunify Korea? I do think Korea has some issues divided like this, but I don't think reunification is the answer. Take a look at this population map, and... You can see most of the people are living in the west side of Korea. More towards China. So... Southwest Korea, Northeast Korea, Southeast Korea, and Northwest Korea. Doesn't this just look glorious? I think we've made the perfect solution for Korea that will... <laughs> what am I talking about? It looks like an UNO game. It's split into two parts. Here and here. Like, think about the actual people living in Malaysia. They would have to take a ferry just to get to another part of their own country. But what's that? It's a merchant ship coming by! The Dutch have actually come to Malaysia to teach them the skill of land reclamation! And the Malaysians will finally be able to drive between the two parts of their country. Aww. Let's just make Singapore a little bit bigger since, you know, we've given Malaysia quite a bit extra land. Yeah, this is pretty much what Kashmir looks like. Just a... Crazy mess of claims right here. There's one nation that doesn't have any claims in Kashmir that borders it. The very safe Kashmir region will be administered by the very trustworthy nation that already borders Kashmir of Afghanistan. I'm sure this will not cause any problems whatsoever. Hope you enjoy your brand new Taliban rule. And now this island here is interesting. Because this is Timur. Wait, why does their highway say yes? You know that saying, my way or the highway? Well, if East Timur's main highway says yes, this will become known as Yes Land. We have Yes Land, but how about No Land? Yes. No. East Timor. And just go to Ethiopia. You know, for whatever reason, Eritrea always gives me, like, sideways Nevada vibes. You know what I'm saying? You know, that kind of, you know, triangle shape? Oh my god! You see what I mean? You see what I mean, baby? I'm gonna do a little bit of climate change stuff and make their um, Colorado River border be the ocean. Remember, we gotta watch out for climate change. You all thought Nevada was gone in the U.S. States video. No, it's just in Eastern Africa. 
Nevada Eritrea. Perfect. Do any Eritreans watching the video? Always been on black. You see, back in the times of Pangaea, Madagascar was actually connected to the rest of the African continent by land. And there we go! <laughs> you, you saw it jump there, didn't you? But now that we have the Central Earth Republic, the Central African Republic is still there. Um, and I think instead of using Central African Republic, we can just use its nickname of CAR. Oh my god! Now would be a perfect time to invest. Look at all those neat, detailed provinces, by the way. Oh, yeah. That just looks so nice. The bots have now expanded from Syria to Botswana. That was really funny, wasn't it, guys? <laughs> but I think the Dominican Republic has something they can do. First up, we're going to give Dominica to the Dominican Republic. And, to make it better, they will gain a colony in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. And the Republic of the Congo. The island of Taiwan as well. So that way, the nation can be called the DRDROC... D... R C R O C, which is just hilarious and would be hilarious for people to spell. So there was actually a very real plan that Canada would get Britain's um, former southern colonies, Caribbean area, when they got decolonized. So I think. We're going to have Jamaica and Belize, which were their colonies down there. And I mean, although they're just Canadian territories in the Caribbean, I could not come up with a better name. But yes, this was a real plan. I reject it, but it, it was a real plan. You heard of the company of Amazon? Well, they've been needing a place to fulfill their orders lately. And there's this place that's called Amazon in South America. I mean, you might as well, brother. We now have created Amazonian Amazon. The rest of Brazil can be an independent state. Not the rest of the world. And you know, if we gave the Amazon to Amazon, we have to give... Yeah. Don't ask what kind of coke they'll be making, though. This is... This is it. This is what we got to deal with. This is what we got to work with. Come on out swinging with New Guinea. I think they should unite their island. But Bougainville will gain independence. We shall get rid of the border in New Guinea. Boom. They can also have these outlying things. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't care, man. British Empire had taken over all of Australia, and um, there was no one else to uh, colonize Australia. The land down under shall be subjected to the scramble for Australia. Now that we have a divided Australia, I just have to name all these places, which is going to take freaking forever. You know what? I kind of like it. And they can just take all this from the sea if they want. Take a look at that, ladies and gentlemen. That is some mass colonial expansion from New Zealand right here. And we also have New Caledonia to our east. We're much about the Heard and McDonald Islands, which are right here. And as a proud American myself, I think you know what I'm going to do. 
we are going to give the McDonald's Islands to the United States, and in return, we will build the first entire island size McDonald's on them, and it will become the new McDonald's HQ. China Cool, would you like to inhabit a uh, portion of Antarctica? Since CO2 makes the planet warm up, Antarctica will warm up too! Saudi Aramco, welcome to Antarctica! Make as much CO2 as you can! Gazprom Oil, National Iranian Oil. And that's going to be about it for fixing the World's Border series. Again, this isn't going to be it. I have plans for other series like fixing the historical borders or doing stuff on my Twitch channel. So, yeah, the series isn't over, over, but we've got the full map for you to look at. Don't worry, I'll keep it on screen for a while, but make sure to subscribe and check out more videos when I post them. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!